Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Today we're making the cover for the Poppy journal and I'm using Amazon packaging, the flat packaging they send things in because when you look at the packaging, they actually have put score lines in for you. And when you bend their cardboard to their score lines, it actually creates a spine for you. All I need to do with this packaging is cut it down and then cover it with some cardstock to make it stronger because it is quite light. Widthways, I want to take about a centimeter from the score line to the edge off. A centimeter off is just under half an inch. The actual current width is 15 and a half centimeters and I want to take it to 15, which would be going just under six inches. I want to do the same on this cover going from this one. I hope that's the same. Yay, it's the same. Now we need to take some length off. It's currently at 23 and a half centimeters or nine and a quarter inches. And I want to take it down to 21 centimeters, which is eight and a quarter inches. Before we cover, I want to reinforce the spine. There are some cutaways here that are basically the same size of the spine. So I'm going to cut that to shape and then glue it to the spine. Go between the score lines while it dries, put a big weight on it to make sure every edge of that adheres. To cover the cover, we're going to use this red lightweight cardstock, and it is very light. I can't remember what it is, probably 200, 210 GSM. We want something still flexible, so you don't want heavy cardstock. I've got two pieces of A4 or US letter size, and the way I'm going to put them together is to run some double-sided tape down one edge, burnish the tape down so it gets a good seal to the card. I'm going to release a bit of the tape at the top and hold it to one side. I'm going to take the other piece of cardstock and line it up and then pull this back. And as you pull it back, seal the cardstock down. Using that as the center point on the spine, glue this cover to that cardstock. Then we're going to smooth the whole cover down. Now that's firmly attached, we just need to bend very gently where the journal will bend. And we're slowly, slowly, slowly bending it over. Now we're going to start cutting this very first cover so that we can fold it over. I have this angle thing here, which is kind of cute. And now I can trim the excess off around the whole thing. We've made some cuts to be able to cover the spine from the inside. We need to cut this at a small angle as well. And then we're going to gradually manipulate the cardboard round the edge of the cover. With each corner, it will be quite pointy and sharp. So this has all been folded in. So you want to just crush it slightly inwards. Bone fold up your edges as well when you've crushed it inwards, where you've got a bit of a pointy corner brush it up and then bone folder it down. And obviously when you glue it, you will also make sure to bone folder it and hold it down even with some clips. Keep going round, not forgetting about that crushing your corners in.
continue all the way around till all of that is glued down. With this spine piece, we're going to cover it with the red card. So we want a similar amount on this side. A centimeter, which is just under half an inch down and a centimetre from the base, punching out a hole. The same on the other side. Now we will be gluing this into our spine area, which means we need to score down some bends on this. I want to cut the ends of this off. Now, having made those flaps, what is going to happen is we're going to stick this into here along the spine. We just want to pull the sides up so we are lining that up in the middle of that spine, burnishing everything down, making sure that your turnings are in there. The final part of this part of covering is to put red rectangles over this area. We use the, those inside holes to punch through to the spine. Next, I have this red elastic cord, and you want about one and a half lengths of it. That will be where our journal papers go. Now we're going to add some ribbon as a closure for the journal. We're doing it roughly halfway down on the inside cover, both sides. Secure it initially, we'll be using all-purpose or Fabri-Tac glues. Because it will be hidden from view, I'm also going to use some picture framing tape. You could use any type of tape. On top of the glued area and the ribbon, add a paper over that, now this base paper's on, going to add a pocket to the inside front cover, going to make a fancy opening for it. Starting at the corner, just going to cut a sort of curly shape like that. And then when we put it on, we have a fancier pocket top. For the back inside cover, we're going to do a small tuck spot and go corner to corner on this rectangle and hopefully use this ruler to create a fancy edge. And glue along that side and that side. That is our basic inside cover done, our basic outside, the way we're going to put the papers in, the tie. In the next tutorial, we'll be finishing off the cover and adding decoration to this pocket and this tuck spot.